So, uh, reverting back to what I was saying, for a young lawyer and for a very young lawyer like me, how do you say that, how should one develop the art of critical thinking of a judgment? See, critical thinking is something not only for lawyer, for everybody. We should stop accepting a thing as correct without posing this question to ourselves. Let me test this conclusion. Suppose the Supreme Court in a given case draws some conclusions. The critical way to test the correctness is whether something else could not have been the correct answer. Because judges have some limitations. Of course, that also has been given up in uh, Jarnail Singh too. They have to, they are bound to follow larger benches. Whereas an advocate is not bound to respect any decision. He is Boy, he is kindly remember this power. He is the only citizen in this country who has power to criticize the judgment, but within certain norms. When we realize that we are more powerful than judges because the High Court judge cannot comment on Supreme Court judgment, whereas a High Court advocate can say that. Please do not follow it. it is a wrong thing. First and foremost, advocate, whether young or old, should realize he is the most powerful person in dispensation of justice. Remember another thing. If we do not criticize, if we do not propound, an alternate viewpoint, law would not have developed. Constitution would not have become such a vibrant document, but for you and me. You and me means every advocate who lives the life of an advocate, who has the fearlessness of the advocate, and who remembers that he is the person making the law, neither the parliament nor the judges. Because judgment is rendered on the assistance rend given by advocates. It is initiative to propound an alternate viewpoint should emanate from the advocate. He is the moving force. If you read Paragraph 68 and say that this is the law laid down, my lords, and if the opposite, if it is convenient to me, I may read that judgment. My opponent should say that Paragraph 68, my lords, is contrary to Ajit Singh too. Only then law will develop. Somebody has to point out. Look, object of the judgment is to see that subtle things are not unsettled. Look what is the unsettling effect it has brought up. Then persuade that hold it per inferior or refer to a larger bank. It is not that advocates are only like any other actor in the system of duty justice dispensation. I would say. Advocates are number one and most critical part of justice delivery system. In courts of law, we only call the judges as lords. Only we are called as learned advocates. That learning should be coupled with courage. Courage to test is what is required. 
Once you have the courage to test, courage, the mind to analyze will open up. Not that intellectually we are shrunk. Intellect refuses to blossom more out of our fear. Overcome the fear. Where they had these health so high. Go back to that tradition. I may not say that every finding is wrong. Apart from the case we handle, apart from thinking whether this argument fits into my case, think as an independent person of law that there can be a better view of things. Of course, don't propagate that better view in the court if it is against you. Wait for appropriate case to propagate that better view. Like otherwise what happens? I appear for the defense in a dismissal case of an employee and say that my Lord, uh, for the misconduct he has committed, this, this uh, appears to be correct punishment. If I say that, whom am, whom am I defending? I am not defending anybody. Therefore, you should have the courage to argue an unpopular argument or an argument which others may find it will not be accepted with the confidence that one day you will make it acceptable. One day you will make it acceptable. That is the confidence with which you have to move. It is confidence which creates creative, creativity. And I am having abundant confidence in particularly anger advocates, not as young as because little more anger or little less, little less anger than him. Uh, they have the wherewithal to analyze and uh, come up with uh, massive solutions, which people of our age would never have thought of it. The, 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 with every uh, new advocate entering the profession, I feel that a new dynamite of thinking is added to the art. Only thing is, we, our thinking capacity is shrunk by our fears. So if I have to say, answer question of Vikas, be bold. If you are destined to lose, you will lose the case. But you would still have made some mind start thinking that your viewpoint will be correct and the judgment may be wrong. Have I answered Vikas? I've understood the what we always hear about, that it is how you think about the prism or what we say that whether it is a half glass empty or half glass full, the spirit and the contribution and that spirit to move on that this glass is full. And if you are representing the other side, you can always say it's half glass empty. Yes. So it's the reflection or what <laughs> and what, what Shakespeare said that nothing is good or bad, but your thinking makes it so or your company makes it so. That's and you have also demonstrated that it is only the expansive of the mind. The flower continues to remain the same, but it, once it is a flower, it's a flower, but once it's a cauliflower, it's an entirely different game. <laughs> 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 so, uh, so, in fact, the way you ex expounded the theory, the way you told us on various sessions, sometimes I feel that we should just have a and a form and where we understand how to take uh, what I was, the next question I can, I, I will not be taking two, three questions which have come on the platform because I feel that if the youngsters can be, or for that matter, any part of the society can be encouraged. Like these are 400 pages, now these are six, 68 pages running. How do you go that extensive study, despite the fact you are so busy or for that matter, any good lawyer, they say what the difference between the lawyer and the a senior lawyer is that ordinary and the extraordinary effort and you are told that your extraordinary thinking should be there and that hunger to actually achieve better things what other people didn't have that wisdom of thinking so how do you develop that art 
like reading 300 pages in a day, you are also hard pressed for that matter for any professional who is working on how to build that reading habit of understanding the things from 300 pages. You see about the things as they say that in, in the time the cream comes on the top. So how do you bring the cream out of that entire judgment or any analysis? Uh, <clears throat> I do not have any. I'm saying in general, I'm not saying. In general, uh, so I know that you, you can do that. Uh, you whip the cream out of one, the entire book. One, one uh, important aspect of reading a judgment is we should not read head notes to the extent possible. Now we have this access to internet where if a judgment is sponsored today, tomorrow it will be on SCC online without head note. Or today itself you can get on live law. Or today itself you can get on the SCC website itself. Let us be friends. Before they are head noted, read the judgment. Because you will be reading the textbook. Judgment without head note is a textbook. Judgments head noted is Allahabad law series 30 questions. You know the difference between 30 questions lawyer and a textbook lawyer. Therefore, I would like, I would prefer to read, particularly uh, this. Uh, uh, present situation of COVID for the last two years or slightly more. It has given this access and time to us to read unhead noted judgments. If you read unhead noted judgments, your understanding of the judgment would be much better because there will be nobody to guide you. Go to this paragraph. This is what it is said. For example, uh, if you, these head notes can be so confusing and so misleading. Uh, P.R. Ramakrishna or something like that one judgment is there. Well, it was one of the parties was National Textile Corporation. The question of rights of workmen came. Is it discussed there in a winding up proceedings? What is the right of a workman trade union to participate? Headnote says that if a right is not denied to a workman by law, it is granting that right. I relied on that headnote and succeeded also in one case. Then I one day I developed. Let me see where is that paragraph. There is nothing even closer to that head note in the entire judgment. And you will be aghast. That judgment was upheld by Supreme Court also, which I read that head note here and succeeded. It was upheld by Supreme Court. Also. Therefore, first thing is, we are all beyond 18 years. We are majors. I am closer to uh, even... Uh, I am beyond 70 also. That is a different. Let us learn to read without a guide. At the high school level, guided teaching should be over. If our advocates develop reading the judgment in full, cover or uh, without looking at the head notes, we will be a better law. But ignoring the head notes is difficult because uh, shortcut is always a track. And uh, we pretend we have no time to read the full judgment. Tell me the head note may be okay, which is the paragraph I have to go. You go and uh, we falter. Therefore, now that we have access to uh, Unhead noted judgments, read those judgments. Then, if you want to see whether your understanding is correct or if you have missed any point, then you go to SCC. Unfortunately, this uh, SCC head noting, yes, it is good. 
but it has killed our instinctive understanding of it having a guide is sometimes a descent in descent incentive for learning and uh, reading 60 30 60 paragraphs or 70 paragraphs is not something uh, difficult yes if it is something beyond 100 paragraphs uh, we will have to be reading it like a scene and uh, that becomes difficult unless you have to unless there is a pressing case where you have to rely on that uh, you will not be reading but up to 100 paragraphs reading is easy if you avoid reading text that is how i have uh, developed morning uh, after uh, reading the headlines in the newspapers newspapers i read only headlines but judgments i ignore headlines and read the report as it is there we have to make a draw a distinction where to read headlines where to headlines and where to read substance judgments always read substance and not headlines it is time consuming of all uh, yes if we don't read what is what else we are doing advocates are doing only two things reading and talking talking in how we do talking ke liye preparation is ready so you have actually explained that reading the head notes would be putting like the cart before the horse so you should always put the uh, horse before the, uh, after the cart Mm-hmm. and unfilled uh, uh, even otherwise they say that even in the nowadays cameras your children also tell that it's a filtered photograph or an unfiltered photograph so you yes. say that the fil- uh, best way to understand things are to to have the unfiltered view and then go by the art of filtration and that's what they say that even for the becoming any good thing you have to uh, understand the art of pyramid the way your from your home you start with a solid base and by the end of the day the best things come forward and as you have rightly explained that even the bow get, goes through the highest distance if you pull it back and then push it forward so thank you sir it has always been an enlightening session and be that as it may i take the commitment that we will have the art of advocacy or reading etc from you now this thing at least i can take uh, i've been able to vouch upon that fact that whenever we have been made a request you have always been kind enough to make us understand the things and before we part for today tomorrow the session would be power of magistrate to direct investigations under the section 1563 crpc to so have a different prisms in a different perspective every lawyer has as mr ps rajagopal has made, made us understand so he is by cs manishankar a senior advocate from madras high court and as sir uh, said that everything is nothing is permanent except the change and that's what we have all understood from him whatever we have understood today thank you everyone stay blessed stay safe thank you very much